What is up, everyone, and welcome back to some more of The Witcher 3. In the last one, we left off on a very disturbing mission. We were trying to help Dandelion open his cabaret. Priscilla ended up getting attacked on her way home to get changed for it. And it is pretty disturbing. Definitely someone that did it on purpose. They went for her voice. And it's honestly so disturbing and horrible. And we're going to continue that right now. So let's jump into it. Uh, I don't yeah, trust that I reverend. Uh, I don't know. Monsters must have been oh, lost. Another one was swarmed. Oh, you found it. Can't go out with this street. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. Uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Hmm. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. <laughs> Another thing that's best left unsaid. I agree. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sill it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Boy, fucking hell, what was that for? For everything. <laughs> yeah. Stay on the ground for now. Uh, uh, I got pissed like a racehorse. If Reverend had the bodies burned. Like I said, I, I honestly do think it was the Reverend, but prob probably working with someone else because whoever it was also seems like they know what they're doing. Hey, free boy. What do I do? Let's go this way. Oi, cocker. So this is going to be the alley where she got attacked. Aww. It's just so sad. Ugh. Got this is probably, to, to me, in my opinion, one of the most disturbing missions. Is this in here? Wait, where is this? Or is it down below? Or is it? Oh, you make a fine sailor. Till the puking set in. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to go down. Yeah, like right here, actually. Oh. Yeah. Hey, handsome. You know, did you see anything? No. Okay. A brazier, this time of year. Human. Grab it. How am I to know? Watch him. See what he does. What's happening? What you... Ever fight a witcher? Why are we punching this out? <laughs> Gotta get around him. <laughs> I think I won't burn you. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are fighting me. Try me, prick. Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant! 
Holes can fight back. Oh, they were, were they attacking Calm her? Calm down, I'm not going to Okay, you. I was so confused. What are you doing here? <laughs> I was like, why are these people attacking me? Why I thought she was with them. Him? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my mm, brother you know, that's a good saying. A warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Hmm. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Hmm. Oh, the head's ringing. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. No. Nope. Ran this way. Concerned citizen sermon. Remember, good people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shapeshifting dopplers can hide from its light, not even witches and sorceresses. So adept at fooling the common folk, not the loose women who walk on the street and the fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immortal magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose for the, for you all the monsters and sinners, or else burn you too in its flames. Concerned citizen. Mm -hmm. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Left on purpose. There's a like smoke. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Mm. Same thing on the bodies. So, what is it? Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back, her assailant retreated, and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something, started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Mm. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints. We can get over the wall. Practically every day in my profession. Unless he's hiding something else. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Be careful. I moved my camera down because I know someone be able to see. Oi, oh. Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Okay. Uh, in a second. Anyone home? Be gone. Or I'll sick me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer. Looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you.
charming as beasts go. You daft? Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But a sleep sound, at least. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? Mm, what can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nay. <laughs> Twas Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf and craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish lag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Hmm. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Right in front of it, definitely. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Or Murderer what? dragged something heavy. What? Statues. Or a corpse. Oh. Concerned citizen sermon. Remember, good people, that the fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Oh, I was just the same one. Live in harmony with no Wait, no, it's not. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with the eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Um, we'll drive from over here. Let me in. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Hmm. More blood stains. But not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Formaldehyde. Again. Doubt Fabian used it. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Attacked in the house. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Interesting. Hi. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. 
Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. I was going to say that too. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? Fabian's to teach a lesson to him, you, the whole city. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Hmm. Welcome, Master Witcher. Mm hmm. I'm here. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. Mm -hmm. And I know who you are, what drives you. Then. I'm more than happy to aid Maybe your not investigation. The Reverend, then. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. <laughs> How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Now you're kind of suspicious. <laughs> not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. <laughs> Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Just like the other ones. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Oh, God. I don't know. I think it's the Reverend. <laughs> went... On an important trip. Seems kind of convenient right now. I'm going. Until next time, Master. Oh, God. It's a lot further. <laughs> Let me go find a... A thing to go. Go, 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 go. It's a wreck. Okay. To the Vagal Bud residence. Let me in. Oh, 
What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. Like now. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. Just, okay, you know what? I should have said I'll explain serious. later. <laughs> Please, follow me. Quickly. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. She's getting targeted. We gotta go. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? I will go to the room myself. Quiet. <laughs> seems to be in order. We should go in. Why wouldn't she sure. come in here? You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh my god. Right now? Oh, go, Geralt. Run. Let's dance. Spread out! Murder is still here! That guy died by getting walked by. There he is! Get him! Me? I'm, I'm not the murderer! I don't got time for you guys. I don't know where this murderer went. Hmm. Out the front door, probably. Okay, you guys go down that way. Okay, I gotta go. I'm out of here. There's no way it's gonna make me kill your guards. It seems so stupid. <laughs> Seems like such a waste of time. <laughs> Why are you guys fighting me? Oh, you and your stupid fast halberd. Like, what is happening? <laughs> I would love to have chased the murderer. <laughs> if I could have gone through the door. 
Very bolt. annoying. Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. <laughs> Listen, you, guys are you got the wrong guy. <laughs> Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. <laughs> yep. Have fun finding a new job. <laughs> we got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but he ran right past you guys. You hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. He ran right past you guys. Out of my sight at once. Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike, be they paupers, princes, men or non humans, weak or powerful, whoever breaks its commandments. Whoever does not heed to the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flames. Live then in truth of the eternal fire. Listen to the, its holy men, for they are your shepherd. What's on to So sorry. Ugh, so annoying with those guards. Oh my god. Get yourself new guards, please. I'm very upset. Everyone out of the way. How did no one notice though? Did no one. They have so many guards. How did no one see the killer walk in? Now we don't Upstairs. got time. But she's with a very important client. Yeah, the one that's Do probably gonna kill her. Them. Very important. Someone with the eternal fire, maybe. Possibly. Wanna bite me, yeah, Wolfie? No, Be tell sly. me where the staircase is. <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. 
like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy. That you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Yeah, no. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women yeah. you tortured. Goodbye. Thanks for the information, though. Burn! Burn in the eternal fire! How's it feel? Burn again! You like burning? Stop like he's like oh, I'm not that kind of murderer. Like, you think I'm gonna let you off still? No. <laughs> he asked if I did everything, and I said for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me so hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to, and he was here in the poker in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Good riddance to that scum. Well, you know, at least we got rid of someone else <laughs> in the process. Staircase. <laughs> oh, okay. That was. Who designed this room? <laughs> it's so confusing. Geralt, positively divine performance. Okay. See, it makes sense that it's him. People, help me! My wife's mum's an Let's old shark. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Ever fight a witcher? What is happening? Run right away! Oh. Oh. Run! <laughs> it takes so long for the run to activate that I end up getting newspaper. No one will know it was us. Put it away, Geralt! Why he doesn't put it away? Okay, we're running away. Why'd they attack that guy? Man, there's so much happening. I, I can't deal with it right now. I'm running. Why is everyone screaming still? And he's the only one that has access to that much formaldehyde, so. Run out of formaldehyde. Mm -hmm. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. How are you? Although, How do you get there? you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of mm -hmm. course. Took the blood. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. 
I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. I hate the fire too, but apparently the eternal fire doesn't yeah, like symbolism's you. clear. What's not is why a vampire exactly. would kill the name of the eternal it fire. Makes no sense. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah well, this conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No. One no. Like you. you couldn't have. You would not have survived. Well, now you look a lot different. <laughs> so, uh, whoops. Um, can you hold? I just wanted to put on some black blood for fun. Oh, yeah. I still see you. Right. Oh, God. You know what I don't remember? Is it moon dust? I want to say it was moon dust. I did not mean to do that. I meant to throw the moon dust. Can you calm down? Out of here. Remember, dear people, that the fire once lit cannot be stopped, that it consumes everything in its path and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash, search for your consciousness, and live in accordance to the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. You know, they would have burned you at the stake, which is the most hilarious part. <laughs> Ugh. I knew something seemed off about him. Especially once he said he was a teacher. Yeah, that was like... Old. <laughs> I thought to myself, I was like, maybe he's a vampire. <laughs> but he didn't look like any of the vampires that I'd seen until he turned into... <laughs> See, that's what I had pictured a vampire to look like. What he looks like. Oh, God. Inside? Okay. Yeah. How's better? Right? Y yes. Oh. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. 
for me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. I'm glad she's okay. Oh, my heart. Yes, Geralt? Um. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hmm. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission. You can't argue with them. Hmm. Farewell. <sighs> well, it looks like we caught two people in this mission. <laughs> Glad I got rid of that other one. I still find it funny that he thought he was so much better. <laughs> He's like, oh, me? That's not me. Let me get what back to what I was doing. Like, what? No. <laughs> That's not happening. Well, we found the killer, and it looks like Priscilla is going to be doing a lot better. So I'm very happy with that. I might continue some of the main missions in the next one, so I'll see you guys then. Huge thanks to all my patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.